Oh, how good is that? All right, so that's a, a, a part of your progression, um, you know, up until your NRL debut. So let's talk about that. So you come off the, an off-season where, you know, you had a, a, a great uh, win with the, with the Jets in the uh, state premiership. And then, you know, how are you thinking heading into that preseason where you're like, you know, are you thinking about round one being in the NRL team? Is that your motivation? It's a motivation. I wasn't sure if it was going to happen or not. Yep. Uh, and then Priz left after December. So this is, yeah, this is heading into the 2020 season. Yep. Yes, exactly. Yep. Yeah. It's yep. 2019 yep. preseason for 2020 season. Uh, Matt Pryor decides to go to England. And then I go, oh my God, this could be, this could be it. Like this is because I wasn't really seeing myself in the starting side before then in the yep. 17. Yep. Um, so he goes, and I remember Braden really had a chat to me. He goes, well, you, this, this could be you here. Like, this could be... You could be in the side here. And I was just going, I could be. Like, I was, like, agreeing with, like, yeah, this yeah. could be did, me. Did it give you motivation to be, like, to look like, you know... Massively. Yeah. Yeah, massively. And even after, like, what happened in the um, Intrust Super Cup the, the, against Burley, I flew straight away to Bali, partied up for sure, but then yep. went to Thailand afterwards and trained for 10 days before preseason uh, and came back flying because I knew that, like, this... If I want to have a, you know... This, if I want to debut, this is the year to do it. Yep. And yeah, um, coming around, I think it was, I remember Bomber told me, uh, I think it was in, do you want to talk about this now? Do you want to do some more? No, <laughs> no, 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 that's good. Yeah, go on, go on. Uh, so it was the last training session of pre-season. We played the trial in PNG, done the nines. Yep. I was just mad, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I was just mad fun. Um, and then it was like the last training session. He read out the team, 1 to 17. Gets this to 14, 15. I'm going, oh, come on, come on. 16. Toby Rudolph, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember yeah. him saying that after a session. But um, yeah, so how were you when you found out off form? Obviously, it's a massive, um, it's a massive thing. Did he just tell you? Is that the first you, you found yeah, out, or that was how I found out? Yeah, was right. Number sixteen, Toby Rudolph, and I was just elated. Yeah, who's the first person you called? Mum. Yeah, I called mum first. What was um, she like? Oh yeah, she was screaming on the phone. Oh my god, Toby! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah standard sort of mum chat. Um, and then I think I called. I think we called Marumi. Yeah. Um, uh, brother and stuff as well, like just sort of everyone, the whole family, my Omar, my Arnie, just everyone gave yep. me gave me a call and let them know what was going on. Yeah. So how how did you feel then into your NRL debut? Were you a little bit nervous? Could you sleep throughout the week? Were you anxious? Talk to me about that. Yeah, I was. Um, I thought like I'd be shitting myself, but I was actually pretty sweet. Um, I think I was more nervous coming back playing for um the Jets because when you're sort of like not to sound like a Derek, but when you sound like when you're like a big dog in the in the Intra Super Cup and the result is more dependent on how you play. Yep. You know, I'm more nervous for that sort of thing. But when I'm playing with players like yourself, like better players, you know, that are much better than me. Um, I don't feel as nervous. I don't feel the result. It hangs in the balance of how I play. You just so want to do your job. Do my job. Yep. And it was, yep. you know, there's no pressure really because like no matter how I play, as long as I don't play terribly, I, I go good. Yeah. Because I'm playing NRL. Yep. So, yeah, sweet as. Yeah, I love that. So you played pretty much every game bar one <laughs> in 2020, so and. Fun. um Earning matches as well, so mm. it's a pretty decent year for you. Yeah, you know, <laughs> a couple, uh, couple extra years on the contract. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember, um, I remember getting matches actually. When How good I, is when that? I first came into figure eight. Oh, my it's grouse. You it's know, gross. and every game counts. Yeah, but um, you know, as I mentioned, you, you missed one game, which was the last game of the year. Mm. You know, I think you were ca- niggling, uh, carrying a little niggling injury, and Bomber comes up to you and goes, Dolph. I'm going to rest you this weekend. Mm. And that means that you're not getting paid a match payment. Yeah. So what do you do? <laughs> oh, yeah. I uh, went up to Bomber. I think I told a few people I wasn't playing. And they just, I don't know if they G'd me up or not, but I ended up going up to Bomber and asking him if I could have the match payment because <laughs> I wasn't not picked. I was rested. <laughs> so I asked him if I could have the matchy regardless. I asked um, him for the matchy. Yeah. Which just say to Bomber, put me on the bench. And like, you know, if you need me, put me on. But if you don't need me, just... Limit my minutes. Do you think I didn't do that? <laughs> did you? Yeah, I, did, I tried everything. Nothing worked. I just didn't get it. Oh, 